Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is we will multiply fractions. I know na napakaraming students and even the parents are searching this kind of topic all over YouTube. I hope na matulungan ko kayo in doing your online classes and modular classes. So, kung gusto nyo ito matutunan, just keep on watching. So, you have here the different steps para makapag-multiply tayo ng fractions. So, sundan lang natin to and then magiging maayos yung sagot natin. We have your step number one. Multiply the numerators. So, if we have one half, ang numerator natin dito is yung one. Then, in step number two natin, sabi dyan, multiply the denominators. So, sa fraction, ang denominator natin is itong nasa ilalim ng bar sign. And then, at the end of your answer, after multiplying the numerators and the denominators, ang next mong gagawin is you need to evaluate or you need to simplify or express your final answer in lowest terms. Kasi basic rule yun in doing any operations of fractions. So, without further ado, let's start multiplying fractions. We have here the first example. 1 half times 3 over 5. So, clear lang muna natin ha. These are your numerators. Ito ang mga numerators mo. Ito naman ang yung mga denominators. So, let's start following the different steps. Sabi dyan, multiply the numerators. Itong dalawang numbers ito, ang kailangan mong i-multiply. So, 1 times 3. Sige, gawin natin step by step process. Over, i-multiply mo lang mo rin ang iyong denominators. Sabi sa step number 2, you have 2 times 5. And then, multiplying those numbers, that will give you 1. Itong dalawang to. And then, ah sorry, that is not 1. 1 times 3, that will give you 3. And then 2 times 5, that will give you 10. And then, since you already done in multiplying the numerators and denominators, ang gagawin mo ngayon is to check whether that fraction is already in lowest terms. So for now, our product is already in lowest terms. So this is the final answer for number 1, 3 over 10. Now let's move on to item number 2. So we have 6 times 1 half. So ngayon, ang tanong, sir, paano ba yan? Paano ba eh, hindi naman po fraction yung iba? Ay yung isang number po natin. Yung isang given natin. By the way, meron tayo itong invisible one. Pag nakita nyo na whole number, yung isa sa mga given natin, automatic meron siyang invisible one. So you can still follow the rule na meron tayo. 6 times 1, that will give you 6, right? And then, 1 times 2, that will give you 2. And as you can see, 6 over 2 can be simplified, or 6 divided by 2 is none other than 3. Ito yung sagot natin for item number 2. Let's move on with our next example. Yan. Ganun din. In number 3 natin, we have 9 times 3 over 4. So, a whole number, meron tayong whole number, at meron tayong fraction. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? Ilagay ulit sa ilalim, you have your invisible 1. Lagay natin. So, you can multiply the numerators. 9 times 7, that will give you, sorry, 9 times 3, that will give you 27. Then, 1 times 4, that will give you 4. And then, ito yung kailangan natin tandaan. In any operation of fractions, express natin yung answer natin in mixed number kapag siya isang improper fraction. So, gawin natin siya mixed number. It is 27 divided by 4. So, ilang 4 ba meron sa 27? Meron tayo... Hmm, 6. Right? And then, 6 times... 4, that will give you 24. Subtract natin, that is 3. So, dito, tandaan nyo, eh, kapag ginawa siya mixed number, itong quotient sa ibabaw, siya yung magiging whole number. And then, 
yung divisor natin that will serve as your denominator at yung remainder natin 3 that will be your numerator therefore the correct answer for item number 3 is none other than 6 and 3 over 4 okay now let's move on to item number 4 so sa case naman ng atin item number 4 we have a mixed number and another mixed number na kailangan natin i-multiply. So, una, you need to convert each mixed number to improper fraction. So, ang step natin is multiply, add. Multiply, add. So, try natin ha. 4 times 2, copy natin denominator. 4 times 2, that will give you 8 plus 1, 9. Again, paano ginagawa uli yan? Kinopy ako yung denominator. And then 4 times 2, that is 8, plus 1, that is 9. Times, multiply, to give you 6. Ah, sorry. Copy natin denominator, na 2, 6, ah, sorry. 3 times 2, that will give you 6, plus 1, that is 7. Ngayon, you can follow the rule, or the steps, multiply the numerators, that will give you 5, ah, sorry. 63 over 4 times 2 that will give you 8 and then convert natin sa mixed number since siyang improper fraction 63 divided by 8 so meron tayong 7 so 7 times 8 is 56 subtract natin that will give you 7 Therefore, the mixed number or the equivalent mixed number of 63 over 8 is 7 and 7 at the end over 8. This is the correct answer for item number 4. In example number 5, we have here 3 fractions. So, ito yung mga possible nyo encounter. But still, though tatlong fractions na yung nakikita nyo or na encounter natin, same lang yung rules na i-apply natin. We need to multiply the numerators. You have here 1 times 1 to give you 1 times 3, that is 3. Again, 1 times 1, that will give you 1 times 3, that is 3. Over 2 times 3, that is 6 times 5, that will give you 30. So, simplify natin. Your numerator and denominator are both divisible by 3. So, we can express this fraction in lowest terms like 1 over 10. This is the final answer for number 5. Diba? Kung mapansin nyo, kahit tatlong fractions pa yan, still at the end, it will give you one fraction as your product. So, I hope na sa ating examples number 1 to 5, ay na-encounter nyo yung mga possibilities na may encounter nyo within your module or sa mga problems sa mga kikita nyo. And I have here an activity wherein sana ma-practice nyo. So you need to multiply the following fractions. Again, you can do this if you want to apply what you have learned from this video. At yung sagot nyo, you can comment down below para makita natin if ever that your answer is correct. Again, sana natuto kayo sa ating video. And if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!